Welcome everybody to Friday Night Smackdown. Before we get into the festivities tonight, we want to take you back seven nights ago. World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre, successful against Jinder Mahal. And then as you see, the Viper, Randy Orton, looking to seek his next prey. Attacking Drew McIntyre from behind. And as you will see, the world title over the head of the Scottish Warrior. A message sent by Randy Orton seven nights ago and Drew McIntyre not letting that one slide. Randy Orton gonna get what he wants. The matchup has officially been signed for Money in the Bank. On July the 16th, Drew McIntyre defends the World Heavyweight Championship against the new number one contender, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Randy Orton picked his spot perfectly. Has Drew McIntyre met his match? Will Randy Orton be the one to take down the Scottish Warrior? in just a couple of weeks in Columbus, Ohio. But we are live tonight from the TD Garden in Boston, and we are not gonna waste a moment of your time. We are getting right into the action. It is a women's Money in the Bank qualifying match between two women who know each other very, very well. The EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, the ballsy badass Shotzi kicking us off here in Boston. These two women have had battles across the ring, but most recently have been on the same side of the squared circle. Really, the history between Bianca and Shotzi dates all the way back to last year. A series of matches, which was really Shotzi trying to prove herself. It was really the rivalry that really let us dub Shotzi the breakout star of 2022. Three match series last year. Wait a minute, Shotzi trying to defeat Bianca and move on to Money in the Bank, not just yet. Bianca had defeated Shotzi on not one but two occasions, but. Their most notable matchup against each other up until now, coming at last year's SummerSlam, where Shotzi defeated Bianca Belair for her first women's championship reign. And we take, take you back to WrestleMania just a few months ago. Shotzi had originally supposed to team up with Tegan Knox to take on Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell for the women's tag team championship. Tegan Knox going down with injury, and Shotzi went to an old rival to stand by her side in Bianca Belair. And of course, as you all know, that led to a multiple month tag team title reign for Bianca and Shotzi. But things coming to an end about six weeks ago here on SmackDown against the Lion or Kel Rodriguez. Of course, the championships now rely with a ton of chance in Caden Carter, but Shotzi, Bianca Belair possibly know each other better than they know themselves. And now, once again, standing across the ring with an opportunity of the most high reward on the line tonight here in Boston. The Money in the Bank live premiere event coming your way Sunday night, July the 16th, Columbus, Ohio. It'll be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Already signed for the women, so wait a minute. Pinfall here by Bianca. It's moved to Ohio, not just yet. But already signed for the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup for Monday Night Raw. Becky Lynch, Mi Chin, Mia Yim, and the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. As for SmackDown, Io Sky, Raquel Rodriguez, and the final spot will be determined right here in this matchup. Will it be Bianca or will it be Shotzi? I mean, the bank's shaping up to be an extraordinary event, and as is tonight here in Boston on SmackDown. This is your first of two Money in the Bank qualifiers. We're going to switch over to the men's side of things later tonight. And the one and only Ricochet goes one on one with the glorious Robert Roode for the fourth spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. And what a main event. If you've been keeping up with the community tab, here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. You'll of course know what is coming your way later this evening. The big tag team matchup, Austin Theory, the 2023 King of the Ring winner, teaming up with the now number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Randy Orton. They will take on the champion himself, Drew McIntyre. And McIntyre finding himself a partner to stand by his side earlier in this week. That being the man he defeated back at King of the Ring a few weeks ago in the Rated R Superstar Edge. Is a massive tag team matchup in your main event tonight. Meanwhile, oh, and Shotzi going low there. Well, I guess the referee's gonna let that one slide. And now Shotzi into the pinfall. The referee knows what's at stake given this matchup. A little bit of leeway here between Shotzi and Bianca Belair. High stakes, high reward, and Shotzi what a bit off more than she can chew going low like that. Do not want to piss off the EST, a former women's champion herself. Both these women got to be motivated as all hell coming into this singles opportunity tonight. As, as we mentioned, former tag team champions that lost their titles about a month and change ago. And now a new opportunity arises. They just got to go through one another to capitalize on it. 
Shotzi heading to the outside. Bianca on her tail. As we mentioned, already qualifying from Friday Night SmackDown. Io Sky and Raquel Rodriguez punching their tickets last week. In the last two weeks on Monday Night Raw, the man Becky Lynch. Mi Chin, Mia Yim making her return after a couple of month hiatus. And then just this past Monday, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley defeating Alexa Bliss. So five women signed for the Money in the Bank ladder matchup coming up on the 16th of July. But who is going to join them? Will it be the ballsy, badass Shotzi, former two-time women's champion as well as tag team champion, or will it be the EST? Bianca Belair, and right now Shotzi looking like the favorite. Bianca took her eye off the ball, decided to rest for a moment, and Shotzi capitalized off the suicide dive. And now the ballsy badass, making sure she reminds Bianca that she cannot be underestimated tonight. These two women have gone to war before, and it may have been about a year ago, but at this point, Shotzi and Bianca know each other so well, and with the opportunity on the line, they are not gonna allow themselves to see that opportunity slip through their fingers. Nice tornado on Bianca, and only a one count there. And think about these two women, not only have they had so many wars on the opposite sides of the ring, but of course, being a tag team for a number of months here on SmackDown, you really start to learn each other's strengths and weaknesses. You really start to memorize the arsenals of the opposer. These two women go know each other well, but that doesn't mean they're gonna have all the answers for what's coming. Shotzi is proven right now off the Frankensteiner and falls over the senton and the cover on Bianca, not just yet. Shotzi wants to find her way back to the women's championship. She originally won at SummerSlam last year by defeating Bianca Belair. Lost it a, just a few moments later to a woman who actually cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase, that being the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Shotzi and Asuka having a series of matchups as well that concluded on January the 1st of this year, where Shotzi lost her second women's championship reign. She wants to get back to the top of the mountain, but so does the EST. Face first goes the badass. Oh, now Bianca has got Shotzi on her shoulders, could be looking for the KOD, and Shotzi says otherwise. As we mentioned, these two women are going to know each other very well, know how to get out of the other hole. Shotzi felt the wrath of that KOD. Well, this one may have been over at this moment, but Shotzi living to fight another moment. Great night of action already, just a few minutes into this week's episode of SmackDown. We got right to the action tonight here in the TV Garden in Boston on what is going to be a jam-packed evening inside of that squared circle on the road to July 16th at Money in the Bank. Each and every live premiere event just continues to get bigger and better and Money in the Bank already promising to be just that. The World Heavyweight Championship going to be decided from Friday Night SmackDown when Drew McIntyre defends the gold against the man he will meet in the tag team affair later tonight, Randy Orton. What about Monday Night Raw's main event as well? This past week, we saw Karrion Cross lights out, lights on, the doomsday appeared, and Cross laid out the WWE Champion, Matt Riddle, dead center of the ring. Those two men will lock horns on the 16th of July. Of course, not one, but two Money in the Bank ladder matches. Those briefcases that, of course, hold the contract for a championship affair anytime, any place over the next 12 months is the opportunity of a lifetime here in WWE. As Bianca heads to the top rope, goes for the 450 and nobody home. That could have been all she wrote. Bianca, dating back to their matches last year, was able to defeat Shotzi off those high-risk maneuvers, but Shotzi had it scouted. Bianca crashed and burned, and the ballsy badass continues to fight in your opening matchup tonight. A couple of sentons, and Bianca has got to be hurting right now. Off the crash and burn off the canvas. The delivery by Shotzi, and here comes the badass. Down she goes into the slice spread. Combination pinfall. Will that do it? No, Bianca Belair kicks out, and the Money in the Bank qualifier rolls on. Great matchup to kick things off in the women's division. Bianca and Shotzi showcasing exactly how much the Money in the Bank means to each and every woman who's going to participate in that ladder match. Oh, and a spear by Bianca. Shotzi rolling to the outside, just trying to catch a breather, but nowhere to run. Bianca Belair got the agility to catch it from anywhere. And continuing to showcase that, that agility. 
showcase the offense, put the hurt on Shotzi on the outskirts of the ring. Look at the power by the EST as well. Shotzi is worse for wear right now. And if this continues, Bianca is going to have herself a spot in the six woman ladder match coming up next month. Shotzi's down and out as the brawl continues on the outside of the ring. Bianca resorting to taking the fight to the outskirts. I mean, really meeting Shotzi out there, but deciding to stay out there to try to put the hurt on Shotzi and really get an end to this matchup. It's, oh, and then a nice counter by Shotzi. Send to Bianca right into the barricade. That's a smart decision by Shotzi there. Just head back inside the squared circle, catch a breather, and get some distance at least for a moment. As Bianca may have fell right into the arms of an awaiting Shotzi as she delivered that knee off the running approach and a snap suplex for good measures. And the tides turn in just a matter of a second in this Money in the Bank qualifier as Bianca is now on the top. Shotzi gonna meet her there for the second time in this matchup. Going for the Frankensteiner and it delivers again. Bianca down dead center of the ring. Boston is coming unglued for the showcase between these two women, and there's the coffin drop. Beautiful maneuver by the Black Horn of the women's division. But Bianca Belair, the blood is still pumping in the veins of the EST. This is an incredible fight just to kick things off here on Friday Night SmackDown. If you did not recognize how much that briefcase that will hang above the ring on July 16th means to these two women that they are showing you exactly why right now. You saw there, Shotzi went for another coffin drop to no avail. Now Bianca Belair off the misstep is back in control. There's the power out of the EST. And down goes the badass. Bianca now heading to the top rope. And Shotzi to her feet, trying to outrun the EST and luckily she does. We have got ourselves a clinic between two women who absolutely respect each other but are willing to do any means necessary to try to climb the ladder on the 16th of July. A second coffin drop delivers flush. Oh, you got to be kidding. Bianca Belair inhumane tonight. As she gets the shoulder off the canvas again. And Shotzi has got to be racking her brain right now as to what she's going to have to do to advance to Columbus, Ohio. Bianca's coming unglued. This is a different EST that we have seen in a long time here in WWE. We haven't seen this fire, this drive out of Bianca since she held the women's championship about this time last year. Shotzi may have beat or I should say maybe spent right now. She might have thrown all of her tricks at Bianca. Double coffin drops wasn't enough. If that's not going to do it, what will? Bianca now has got Shotzi days on spaghetti legs, but the EST has got to capitalize. She's got to use her strength to her advantage. Shotzi goes behind. Schoolgirl pinfall. Will that do it? Almost had her again, but the power of Bianca able to pop the shoulders up. Oh, wait a minute. Could be going for the KOD. This time she hits it. Shotzi reversed it earlier. But the second time was to no avail. The EST got her wrist. A kiss of death on the canvas. And into the cover. And Bianca Belair is going to money in the bank. Well, that was one hell of a matchup to kick things off tonight in Boston. Shotzi gave it all she had, but tonight belongs to the EST of the WWE and Bianca Belair, the successful woman who will find her way in Columbus. And the six women have been revealed for the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. The field officially set on behalf of Raw and SmackDown. Bianca joins Rhea Ripley, Mi Chin Mia Yim, Becky Lynch, Io Sky, and Raquel Rodriguez, who will take down the briefcase on the 16th of July in the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. The 
you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We're back live in the TD Garden in Boston, but the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is coming up Sunday night, July the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We are heading to the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio for the 2023 Money in the Bank event. It is going to be a stacked night of action. As we mentioned, every live premiere event getting bigger and better, and Money in the Bank certainly shaping up to be just that. But as for tonight here in the TD Garden, Giovanni Vinci of Imperium set for one-on-one -on -one action against the master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio. First time being back inside the ring since his unfortunate loss to Santos Escobar at King of the Ring. But Rey Mysterio looking to move past the Cruiserweight Championship, set a new sight and possibly in this matchup could find his way towards the United States Championship and the ring general Gunther. Very interesting situation for Rey Mysterio. And his opponent, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio! Rey Mysterio, as we mentioned, hot off the heels of a multiple month war with the leader of Legado del Fantasma, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, which concluded in hell a, a hellacious Extreme Lucha Rules match back in Philadelphia at the King of the Ring live premiere event. Rey Mysterio falling to Santos Escobar, unsuccessful in his attempt to regain the Cruiserweight Championship for a 10th time in his career. Rey Mysterio, though, you can never keep the biggest little man in WWE history down, back to fight again. And tonight he has got his hands full with one of the, dare I say, most agile and impressive superstars in the SmackDown locker room. Giovanni Vinci is coming out hot, looking to take Ray's head off his shoulders. Of course, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser representing Imperium, a faction led by the current reigning and defending United States champion Gunther. The last time we saw the ring general, just two weeks ago here on SmackDown and a match of the year candidate, if I say so myself, against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and Gunther able to outlast what I believe was his toughest opponent since joining SmackDown back in November in the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Interesting situation coming out of that matchup is A, who is gonna be next to step up to challenge Gunther for the United States Championship. Could very well be Rey Mysterio if he can get past Giovanni Vinci tonight. But the other interesting situation is that no one's heard from Cody Rhodes over the last two weeks. His social media's gone silent. He hasn't been backstage here at SmackDown. Cody is obviously taking the loss to Gunther to heart. Hopefully Cody is gonna get his mind right and be back on SmackDown sooner rather than later. But nonetheless, Mysterio focusing on his own game tonight. Out of the ring, catching Giovanni Vinci with a Tornado DDT. Nobody does it better than the Hall of Famer himself. Rey Mysterio not looking to smell loss yet again tonight. Knows what it's like to be on the other side of defeat. Ray with his hands full with Giovanni Vinci tonight, but he sees the opportunity that's at hand. Gunther without at least officially so far, a next opponent for the United States Championship. I'm sure there's a locker room full of stars here on SmackDown that'd love to step up to the ring general, but nonetheless, after Cody Rhodes was tapped out by Gunther two weeks ago, I mean, you gotta wonder who's man enough, who's got the guts to step in the ring with the ring general. This is the man who defeated the almighty Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship back in February at WrestleMania. Has retained the gold over Wes Lee over the phenomenal AJ Styles, and then Cody Rhodes as well in the Super SmackDown two weeks ago. Luther is turning away some of the best challengers that SmackDown has to offer. Although everyone might want a shot to become United States champion, 
There might be superstars in the locker room who think they don't stand a chance against the undefeated ring general, a man who has not been pinned nor submitted since he joined SmackDown back in the draft in November. Well, it remains to be seen. Rey Mysterio, if there's anybody who's got the heart to step up to somebody like Gunther, it's got to be him, right? He's got to get through Gunther, or I should say, got to get through Giovanni Vinci tonight. But right now, things not looking so hot for Rey. Superplex, and he follows it up with a Falcon Arrow combination. Beautiful maneuver by Vinci. And even though Imperium might not be among the favorites, Boston showcasing their appreciation for these two men and Giovanni Vinci taking things to the sky. Don't forget Giovanni Vinci, a man who made his WWE debut all the way back in 2016 in the midst of the Cruiserweight Classic. This man can go from belt to bell. He's got the strength, he's got the speed, he's got the agility. But does he have the heart to defeat Rey Mysterio tonight? That is the question that remains to be seen. Mysterio is hurt. You gotta wonder the condition of Rey. He's had, of course, almost two weeks to rest, but that was a brutal Extreme Lucha Rules match back at King of the Ring against Santos Escobar. You gotta wonder if Rey is even nearing 100% tonight. There is or not, Rey Mysterio never won to back down from a challenge. Giovanni Vinci on the outside, Mysterio coming at him again, but this time Vinci sidesteps him. Can't go to the well too many times with the same idea in mind against a member of Imperium. Giovanni Vinci taking care of the waist at ringside to get a head back inside the inskirts of the ring. And Mysterio on his tail. He's got to get back into this. Tried to mount some offense right there, but really to no avail as Giovanni Vinci has had an answer for the majority of Mysterio's offense, at least thus far. Nice tilt to world head scissors by the master of the 619. Vinci down. Mysterio got to build some offense. Got to get back into this thing one way or another. Went for the cover there, but I think we all saw Giovanni Vinci's foot underneath the ropes. A rare mistake. Out of Rey Mysterio from Bell to Bell. Great matchup thus far. Great episode of SmackDown thus far. Still to come tonight. The next member of the men's Money in the Bank ladder now. Wait a minute here. Ludwig Kaiser on the apron, not allowing Rey Mysterio to keep his composure, to keep his focus on Giovanni Vinci as he comes from behind and almost stole the victory thanks to the assist. Oh, and now taking Rey's head off again. Rey was starting to build momentum, but the duo of Vinci and Kaiser double team and Ray if you will in this matchup tonight and Mysterio still trying to get back into this as we we're about to mention still to come the Money in the Bank qualifying matchup between Ricochet and Robert Roode and also the tag team main event Austin Theory and Randy Orton taking on Drew McIntyre and the Rated R Superstar Edge we'll touch on it more later tonight but this is of course oh wait a minute wait a minute Ray Mysterio springboard Frog splash into the cover. Sayonara Vinci. Well, Giovanni Vinci may have controlled the majority of this matchup, but it's all about getting the three count. And in the end, Rey Mysterio putting the recipe for success together. Frog splash and the cover for the victory. Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio. Well, Giovanni Vinci's got to take that loss back to Imperium territory. Rey Mysterio may have just got himself an opportunity at Gunther's United States Championship in the near future. All remains to be seen, but we got some breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Next week here on SmackDown, it is going to be a triple threat match to decide Santos Escobar's next opponent for the Cruiserweight Championship as we see J.D. McDonough, Axiom, and Wesley battle it out inside the squared circle. And then two weeks from tonight, on the final SmackDown before Money in the Bank, the winner of that triple threat match will meet Santos Escobar himself in a championship affair for the Cruiserweight Gold two weeks from tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. We're back inside the TD Garden in Boston, and it is time to decide the fourth member of the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup coming up on the 16th of July. Seth Rollins 
Braun Breaker, Tommaso Ciampa already qualified. Who will be next to join? Will it be the one, the only, human highlight reel of Friday night's Ricochet? The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, unfortunately for Ricochet's tag team partner, Mustafa Ali, his chances to enter the Money in the Bank ladder matchup going up in smoke last week as Ali failed to qualify against that young, hungry blue chipper, Braun Breaker. Well, Ricochet's got a chance to Turn some luck around for the tag team. Of course, those two men lost the world tag team titles back at King of the Ring, but Ken Ricochet brings some good mojo back to the locker room with a win over Robert Roode tonight. Or is the glorious one, Robert Roode, looking to use Ricochet as a stepping stone in his ascension back to the top of Friday Night SmackDown? All remains to be seen. Only one man can take the fourth spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Both men want it, but who wants it more? Well, luck has not been on the side of the glorious one either. A couple of losses starting to string together as of late on SmackDown. But tonight the night where Robert Roode can turn it all around. Will the glorious one find his way in money in the bank? Well, it was just two weeks ago, the last time we saw Robert Roode in action on SmackDown, it was unfortunately in a losing effort as he teamed up with Jinder Mahal to take a fall to Edge and Drew McIntyre. But of course, this is what is at stake, the money in the bank, and that is who has already signed for the latter matchup coming up on the 16th of July. Braun Breaker from SmackDown, Tommaso Ciampa, and Seth Rollins from Monday Night Raw. A chance at the biggest opportunity I should say at least one of the biggest opportunities of the year here in WWE is on the line. For two men who are looking to turn their luck around, this is the, this is the spot, this is the chance to do it. That briefcase is going to be hanging above the ring on the 16th of July in Columbus, Ohio. A future world championship opportunity at either brand is at stake. Neither of these superstars wanting to see that chance slip through their fingers tonight your second Money in the Bank qualifier of the evening already tonight. Bianca Belair taking the last spot in the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup, defeating her tag team partner in Shotzi. So the field is set on the women's side of things, but still a couple of more qualifiers to go for the men as we kick off Ricochet and Robert Roode here tonight in Boston. Of course, coming up on Monday Night Raw, it's going to be Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Kevin Owens. See who will get the final spot for on Raw's behalf in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. And then we'll have another qualifier coming your way seven nights from tonight on SmackDown. Still to be revealed yet here tonight. She's just on SmackDown. Nonetheless, Robert Roode and Ricochet one-on-one. -on -one. No contrast of styles. Robert Roode, an old school style, if you will, inside of that ring. Looks to wrestle his own pace, really pick apart his opponent. A couple of explosive maneuvers in the arsenal. And then he got Ricochet. You want to talk about explosive maneuvers. Loves to take things to the air. There's a reason we call him the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali were on top of SmackDown. And quite frankly, all of WWE for months as the World Tag Team Champions. Unfortunately, their luck coming to a screeching halt in Philadelphia at the King of the Ring live premiere event. Losing the gold to Monday Night Raw's Damian Priest and Finn Balor, but now an opportunity arises individually. Mustafa Ali not able to make the best of his chance. Will Ricochet, however, be able to turn the tide? So far, so good for the one and only. Looking to take that second SmackDown spot in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup, joining Braun Breaker, Tommaso Ciampa, and the visionary Seth Rollins, who barely survived the almighty Bobby Lashley. A grueling matchup this past Monday Night on Raw. Ricochet back in the ring, and just that hop over the top rope might have cost him as Robert Root is able to grab him and take him out of the canvas with ease. And that's the old school ground and pound. Nothing too fancy, nothing too flashy. Except, of course, his ego out of Robert Root. 
Rude's luck, as we mentioned, not been the best. And it really started all the way back at WrestleMania when he lost to John Cena. If you look at Robert Rude's track record over the last couple of months, some wins here and there, but at the end of the day, some big time losses as well. He failed to become the number one contender for the United States Championship. He had an opportunity to join Drew McIntyre and Edge and make it a triple threat at King of the Ring and failed to do that. And then as we mentioned just two weeks ago, here on SmackDown, Robert Roode, I'll bite, did not take the pinfall, but alongside Jinder Mahal fell to Drew McIntyre and Edge in a tag team matchup. And Ricochet looking to make Roode fall once again as he's standing precariously on the outside of the ring, and down goes the glorious one off that high-octane offense by the one and only. Awesome maneuver by Ricochet. And utilizing his strong suits is going to be what propels him to the Money in the Bank ladder matchup if he can connect on all these high-risk maneuvers. So far, so good. Beautiful crossbody into the cover. Will that do it? And now oh, Robert Roode not even going to expend the energy. You got to give him credit where credit's due. Smart to reach out, grab the ropes, and continue on this fight. Robert Roode knows the tank that Ricochet's got. He's got a couple of gears in there that a lot of superstars don't have. If Robert Roode's going to keep down that high agility, high, fast-paced offense of Ricochet, he's got to outlast him. He's got to outlast the onslaught. He's got to study those high-risk maneuvers and not allow Ricochet to connect with at least any more of them. Right now, Ricochet just trying to throw Roode off his game. Trying to steal the victory. Almost had him, and not just yet. Robert Roode's got to bounce some momentum here, and that's one way to do it off the Uranagi. Into the cover. And only a one count there. Back-to-back -back one counts. These two incredible talents are going to take a lot more to keep the other down, and there's a spine buster out of Robert Roode. And that may be all she wrote if Robert Roode goes for the cover, but instead, Alex to continue to flick offense on Ricochet. And that may have cost him here. There's the human highlight reel trying to fight from underneath. Four onto the glorious one. Look at the strength. Beautiful maneuver into the bridge. Robert Roode almost costed himself. Able to get the shoulder up, but if I was Roode, I would have went for that pinfall after the spine buster, but maybe Roode's in his own head a little bit. After the recent losses, feels he's really going to have to dish out as much as he can to get the victory when really not straying too far off the path. Maybe what's best case scenario for Robert Roode tonight. And the last ricochet on top. Beautiful picture perfect moonsault from the heavens into the cover. And he almost had him again. A two count on Robert Roode, but not the three that Ricochet was hoping for. Gotta believe that Braun Breaker, Tommaso Ciampa, Seth Rollins are all keeping their eyes on this Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Looking to see who's going to join them next in Columbus, Ohio. And it could be Ricochet. Rude taking his eye off the ball once again. And he almost got caught off the backslide. On a nice rolling forearm, taking Robert Rude down. And Rude is struggling in this matchup. Ricochet has been in control for the majority, if I say so myself. And a beautiful Pele. And Ricochet may be nearing victory. Oh, there's a rope break there. Saved by the ropes is Robert Roode. Ricochet not going to slow down just yet. Says so this matchup's going to keep progressing. Well, I'm going to keep going to the sky. Roode is down. Roode is hurt. He better shake the cobwebs off and start swinging fists because his chances of qualifying for money in the bank are starting to look slim to none. And there's a reversal out of Rube. He needs to get fired up here. And there's a spine buster for a second time. And this time, quick to go into the cover and gets the kick out, does Ricochet. He may not have put Ricochet away there, but certainly the damage done. And now Rube's got to keep the foot on the gas pedal and keep progressing forward in this matchup. If he's going to have a chance at joining the likes of Braun Breaker, Tommaso Ciampa, Seth Rollins, and more on Columbus, Ohio. Oh. Glorious DDT! That's gonna do it. That is gonna be all she wrote for the one and only. Not just yet. Never count out the man who held the Cruiserweight Championship for damn near six months, who was hot off the heels of a tag team title reign. 
Ricochet not going down. Off of the double spine busters. Off the glorious DDT. The one and only wants his chance to climb the rugs of the ladder and elevate his career here in World Wrestling Entertainment. Off the ropes and another moonsault. If that didn't keep down Ricochet, Quite frankly, I don't know what will. Robert Roode's got to be thinking the same thing. But here comes a big time crash landing into the rib cage and into the cover. And again, Robert Roode kicks out. But is he just denying the inevitable? Roode's dazed. Ricochet. There down goes Roode off the recoil knee. And Ricochet qualifies for the money in the bank. Robert Roode, I tell you, he is going to have to go back to the blueprints, go back to the chalkboard and draw up a new game plan because it is just not working out for him lately. But success goes for the one and only here tonight in Boston. Here is your winner, Ricochet! Well, it was an unfortunate loss for Mustafa Ali seven nights ago, but seven nights later, Ricochet bringing some good mojo back to that tag team locker room. And the one and only, the fourth man to qualify, he joins Seth Rollins and Tommaso Ciampa from Raw, Ron Breaker from SmackDown. Four of the six spots have been revealed for the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. And speaking of Braun Breaker, this was actually moments ago during our last contest on Twitter, Braun Breaker had this to say, I've got something to get off my chest. July 16th, I will take down the briefcase and become Mr. Money in the Bank. But I need everyone to remember that I don't forgive, and I certainly don't forget. Braun Breaker, moments ago, eerie words on Twitter. What could the young man be referring to here on SmackDown? Hopefully we're going to find out soon enough. Next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, July the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll be live from the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, for Money in the Bank. And coming up this Monday night on Raw, the fifth of six spots will be determined in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup as the prize fighter Kevin Owens returns to action against the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. And just signed next week on SmackDown, the final qualifier for the men's side of things. The phenomenal AJ Styles returns to the ring for the first time since King of the Ring as he meets an old rival in the Nigerian nightmare, Omas. And also coming up July the 16th at Money in the Bank, Liv Morgan gets her rematch against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, running things back from the King of the Ring at Money in the Bank for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. Monday Night Raw's main event signed for the WWE Championship, the new number one contender, the Harbinger of Doom carrying cross, looking to bring the Doomsday to Matt Riddle's WWE Championship reign when things come to a head in Columbus, Ohio. And of course, the SmackDown main event just signed earlier this week. Randy Orton picked his spot correctly. Drew McIntyre took the bait, and the World Championship will be on the line between the Chosen One and the Viper, one-on-one -on, -one on the 16th of July. But it is main event time here in the TD Garden in Boston. And it is a mega all-star collision tag team affair here on Friday Night SmackDown. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper Randy Well, at the top of the program, you saw how Randy Orton weaseled his way into a world championship matchup. And quite frankly, he went after a superstar that he knows would have been more than willing to challenge anybody for his world heavyweight championship. But Randy Orton wanted to play the mind games. Randy Orton wanted to do things his way. He ambushed McIntyre from behind, used Drew's own world championship over the skull of the champion himself. And McIntyre fired up as all hell, demanding a matchup with Randy Orton that, of course, needed to be on Randy Orton's terms at Money in the Bank for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Randy Orton, who just recently joined SmackDown just over a month ago after he was banished from Monday Night Raw back in April, has quickly found his way back into the main event. 
This is a man who was WWE champion for the better part of almost a year on Monday Night Raw, dominating any and all challengers from Edge, the man he will meet in moments, to AJ Styles, to Rob Van Dam. Hell, even the man he is about to team up with, All Day Austin Theory. Randy Orton had a take no prisoners reign as WWE champion, and if he plays his cards correctly, he very well could be the man here on Friday Night SmackDown yet again. But here comes the 2023 King of the Ring winner. And his partner from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Well, it was less than two weeks ago that this man walked into Philadelphia defeated AJ Styles in the semifinals and defeated Monday Night Raw's Shinsuke Nakamura in the King of the Ring finals to not only wear the crown of the king, being your 2023 King of the Ring winner, but regardless of who leaves Money in the Bank as World Heavyweight Champion, that man is gonna have a date with all day Austin Theory this August at SummerSlam. Which really ma just makes this situation that much more intriguing as Theory and Orton, they have had their differences in the past on Monday Night Raw, have fought over the WWE Championship, could potentially meet again at SummerSlam for the world title. But tonight they gotta stand side by side against not only the World Heavyweight Champion, but the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Edge and McIntyre, mutual respect, but the two men went to war in Philadelphia. McIntyre was the better man, and when Drew needed a tag team partner for tonight, who better to step up than a man who knows Randy Orton, and quite frankly, Austin Theory, so very well. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, it was back in November, in this very building, the TV Garden in Boston, that Edge and Randy Orton stepped inside hell in a cell for the WWE Championship, which kicked off Randy Orton's latest reign. Those two men, a loaded history with each other. That back in the same building we thought it all ended, it begins again in this tag team Mega Man event on SmackDown. We have your challenger for SummerSlam. We have your challenger for Money in the Bank. We have your Hall of Famer. But you can't start the party without the World Heavyweight Champion. The face of Friday Night SmackDown. The Chosen One. The Scottish Warrior. Drew McIntyre. McIntyre demands you put respect on his name, and he has absolutely earned that right. An amazing championship reign thus far, but will it come to an end on the 16th of July? And from Ayer, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew. McIntyre has held the big gold since WrestleMania Saturday back in February where he defeated Seth Rollins. Since then, he has retained the title over John Cena, Braun Breaker, and his latest chapter against Edge at King of the Ring. But as we mentioned, the mutual respect between McIntyre and Edge, it may have been thrown out the window as those two warriors certainly went to war on the battlefield in Philadelphia less than two weeks ago but yet again find themselves standing side by side tonight. And of course, common enemies always breed interesting relationships. McIntyre with issue with Randy Orton. McIntyre looking through Randy Orton, seeing Austin Theory at SummerSlam, and Edge a man who knows Randy Orton very well, and as we mentioned, quite frankly, knows Austin Theory very well. We will touch on that in moments, but here we go. Edge and Randy Orton, back where things ended in November, once again reignite in the TD Garden tonight in Boston. Kicking off this tag team main event like they never left. 
So much history between the Rated R Superstar and the Viper. They've stood side by side, but more often than not, they've stood across the ring from each other in absolute wars. And I'm sure Edge has not forgotten that Randy Orton ended his WWE Championship reign back in November in this very building inside Hell in a Cell. A matchup that Edge had suffered numerous injuries with and did not step back inside the squared circle till January the 1st of this year. Here comes the 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory. It's a very interesting situation here as well. Theory and Edge, no strangers to each other. Give you a little bit of a history lesson. It was last year at SummerSlam where Edge won the WWE Championship against AJ Styles. Just over a month later at Extreme Rules, Austin Theory and Edge were the final two men in a five-man elimination match for that very championship. And Austin Theory shocked the world on that night, defeating Edge and becoming the WWE Champion. It was just over a month later, in September at Judgment Day, where Edge defeated Austin Theory to win the WWE Championship yet again. And that's the last time that these two men stepped inside the squared circle with each other. The history is there, and I'm sure Theory has not forgotten, nor forgave Edge for ending his first and yet short WWE Championship reign. Theory with a chance at retribution tonight. Really for Edge, not only does he get a chance to go after the number one contender and reignite an old rivalry with Randy Orton and take down the 2023 King of the Ring winner, but through that, Edge has really an opportunity to prove himself as a, another future challenger for the World Heavyweight title. I'm sure Edge, although respects the result at King of the Ring, He's not looking to go down without another opportunity. He wants another crack at the World Championship, I assure you. Oh, here comes Randy Orton, going after Drew McIntyre, catching him off his game, just as he did seven nights ago. With that ambush in the world title to the skull that I know McIntyre has not forgotten about. McIntyre will have his chance. Oh, Randy Orton better keep his eye on the legal competitor as Edge took a shot there, and it may have costed the Viper. Getting a little preview of the World Heavyweight Championship match on July 16th at the Nationwide Arena. These two men have battled in the past several years ago over the WWE Championship, no strangers to each other. It's an old rivalry reignited here on SmackDown, this time for the big gold belt. All the marbles gonna be on the line in Columbus, Ohio in just a number of weeks. McIntyre. Winded up, going for a punt kick similar to Randy Orton, but Orton had it scouted, and a simple yet effective rushing leg sweep. A lot of momentum is riding on the line in this tag team all-star main event as Orton's got McIntyre elevated on the ropes. And I think we know what comes next. The DDT to the World Heavyweight Champion. And Randy Orton with a series of maneuvers that DDT included if he hits that at World, or excuse me, at Money in the Bank, he very well could be the new World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre as tough as they come as he has proven all over again these last number of months on SmackDown. Now Warren going for the cover, trying to get in the psyche of McIntyre. If Warren can pin the World Heavyweight Champion tonight, you gotta believe McIntyre's mind is really gonna be completely thrown off its game heading into Money in the Bank. McIntyre hasn't taken a loss since really the end of 2021. This is a man who outlasted five other SmackDown superstars in the Elimination Chamber match back in January and has stepped into main event after main event, month in and month out, and successfully defended the World Heavyweight Championship. McIntyre, even at this age in his career, is better than ever, is at the top of his game. He doesn't care if it's Austin Theory or Randy Orton. McIntyre wants to prove he is the best of the best. Sending the Viper back into the ring. The man who will challenge one of these superstars for the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam, Austin Theory, looking for the tag right now, and there he gets it. And a tag made to Edge. Fresh legs on both sides of the ring, and your all-star collision in this main event. On oh, Edge throwing haymakers. Gotta believe Edge is extra motivated tonight after getting his shoulders pinned to the canvas in Philadelphia less than two weeks ago. Edge looking to bounce back with a victory here tonight in Boston. Certainly Edge knows he can defeat Austin Theory, so a chance to prove it again tonight. 
And again, that win was back in September when he met Austin Theory one-on-one. -on -one. Theory has come a long way just since then, not even a year later. This is a man who defeated a returning Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. This is a man who went through four rounds of the King of the Ring and wears the crown of the King. Will challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship in less than two months at SummerSlam. Austin Theory taking his eye off the ball, going after McIntyre, may have costed him against the Rated R Superstar. Never underestimate the Hall of Famer. Execution on Austin Theory. Into the cover. Almost had him with the victory. The Theory, whether you like his attitude or not, has proved his worth inside of that ring. He has shown he's got the intestinal fortitude to be a world champion yet again. And he will have that opportunity sooner rather than later. But tonight is about getting the W in this tag team main event. Will it be Austin Theory and Randy Orton? Two men who got their opportunities in the near future. Or will it be the rated R superstar and the world heavyweight champion? Or SmackDown's All-Stars doing battle before our very eyes in this epic main event collision. The historic TD Garden here in Boston. It's taking down Austin Fury yet again with that elbow. No! Oh, went for another one there, didn't get all of it. That just really letting Austin Fury have it right there. That one was to the nose. Fury's nose may be broken off of that shot. And there's one for good measures, giving Randy Orton a little taste of what Orton had in mind earlier in this matchup. Edge is fired up tonight. Hot off the heels of King of the Ring. First time back inside the squared circle. And it looked like Edge was going for the spear, but took too long and Theory had it scouted. Now Edge goes behind again. Edge wants the victory. He smells blood in the water. Pinfall. Not just yet. The thing's starting to break down. Orton rushed in the ring. McIntyre taking care of him. And Edge with the spear on the 2023 King of the Ring winner. But tonight, Edge is the king of the squared circle. Victory for the rated R superstar, as well as his companion of the world heavyweight champion. Well, a great matchup in your main event tonight on SmackDown. And it really just makes the situation regarding the world championship that much more interesting. Has Edge put himself in line for a shot at the big gold belt all over again after this tag team win? Here are your winners. On the same side tonight, but with McIntyre having Randy Orton in his, in his view at Money in the Bank, possibly Austin Theory at SummerSlam. Has Edge been added to the list of potential candidates for the World Heavyweight Championship? Everybody wants a shot at the big gold belt. Everybody wants to be the man here on Friday Night SmackDown. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.